cozy, right? Outposts are great for stocking up or just taking a break. Oh, you found a shed! I remember finding a big deer antler for the first time as a kid. It felt like I had dug up some real treasure. I still have it at home. If you want a neat challenge to pass the time when not hunting, many of the animals are shedding their antlers this time of year. They're still tricky to find, of course, but I guess that's why people like to collect them. Hi there. I've got a bit of an unusual question. I hope you don't mind. I think I mentioned Gerlinda, right? Well, here's the thing. She's writing a book about fallow deer. Her second one, actually. She's got a small obsession for fallow deer. Anyhow, she's missing some pictures for her book and was looking for someone to help out. It's a bit specific. I remember hearing that you're quite the photographer yourself, so I thought I'd pass along her offer. She's looking for a picture of a fallow deer taken in Rattenfeld. She'll pay quite well for it, so it may be worth the effort. If you were looking to help out Gerlinda with that picture, you're in the right place. You're in Rattenfeld. Gerlinda is lovely, but here's a friendly tip. Don't ask her about fallow deer unless you mean it. She will not stop. It's beyond obsession at this point. On the other hand, there's no one better for hunting tips when it comes to fallows. Oh, and her venison stew is out of this world. Makes me hungry just thinking about it.